Hey, how you doing? Well, today I'm building my roof truss system, and I'm going to build it before I built the walls. And the reason for that is I have this nice level platform now behind me, and that gives me a good surface to lay it out on. So the first thing I'm going to do is cut all my parts. So let's walk over here. I'll show you one of the finished truss systems, and then I'll show you the parts, and then we'll assemble it. This is the first truss that I built, and from this I've made a cut list for all my parts. So I've got a 2x4 on each side of the roof, and then a 2x4 that goes across, and it's sandwiched together with a piece of half-inch plywood. The first thing I'm going to do is cut all of my roof rafters, and to make sure I cut them all to the same length, I've set a stop block up on my work table. Well, I've just finished cutting my last roof rafter, and you can see how it lines up on the deck. I've created a jig on the deck to create the truss. This way, each truss will be exactly the same. So now that I have my roof rafters cut, I need the measurement for my cross piece, which is this piece right here. And once I have that measurement, I'll move the stop block on my work table and cut every cross piece. Okay, well, I finished cutting all of the cross pieces, and you can see how the cleat attached to the deck of the shed holds the cross piece right where it needs to be. The next step is to cut half inch plywood and sandwich the truss together. Now I've already cut it to width and I'm going to cut it to length using the same method of a stop block. I'm using half inch plywood to sandwich the truss system together and that's where the strength of the roof will come from. And I've already cut the long point of my roof angle on one side and now I'm going to cross cut it to length on, uh, on the chop saw here. Now I cut it to width on my table saw. And each piece of half inch plywood here is seven and three quarters of an inch uh, wide. And the reason for that is that way I was able to get six pieces out of one sheet of plywood. Now for the peak of the truss system, I'm using the same piece of half inch plywood and just flipping it over and actually using the cutoff for, uh, for the part at the top of the roof. Now that I have all the parts made, I can start to assemble the truss system. And I'm going to use liquid nail for a little glue at the peak and on the cross brace. And then I'll attach the half inch plywood with inch and five eighths long screws. And for the brace, I'm doing the same thing. A little bit of the liquid nail. And then the cross brace. Now I thought I should mention that I'm not going to be able to cut a bird's mouth in the end of my roof rafter, and that's because I'm using a 2x4 and there's simply not enough material in the rafter. So what I'm doing is applying a cleat at the bottom of the rafter with the exact angle of the roof, and then the cleat will sit on the exterior wall. And to make sure that I'm attaching the cleat in the exact same place on each rafter, I've set my square to 7 inches and simply uh, by placing the end of the square at the end of the rafter I know that I'll always be at the same place. And this will make setting the trusses that much easier.
Now that I've attached plywood to one side of the truss, I can simply flip it over and repeat the process. All right, well that's about it. And I tell you, once you lay the jig out and cut all your parts, it really goes pretty quick. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you next time.